Americans enjoy unprecedented freedoms today, earned by colonists brave enough to stand up and fight for them. He was one of the most underrated Republican presidents in American history and is the only person to have served as both vice president and president. He said in his final letter, and I will always believe that America's best days are ahead as I go into the sunset of my own life. Justice Marshall, the great grandson of a slave, swore to do equal right to the poor and to the rich. Negro League was a stepping stone for the black player. The Negro League is one of the most important chapters in the history of baseball in the United States. He always said, my life never began until I met Nancy. And he would tell her all the time, I miss you when you leave the room. He talks about what the American people can do for themselves. It's been the power of millions of people like you who've determined that we will make America great again. Through special access, we're going to bring you places you never thought possible that really very few have ever gone before. And this is what made America great. I remember going home and going to sleep thinking I could just wake up and it'd be over. That was really the start for me of knowing that I was meant to do something more. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What a sizzle reel. So many great shows coming up on Fox Nation. I don't know how I'm supposed to follow that, but I'm going to do it. We're pulling out all the stops. We are celebrating Women's History Month with an all-star happy hour lineup of Fox News, Fox Nation, female heavy hitters. That's how we're going to do this thing. <laughs> You're not going to want to miss this, everybody. So, hey, let's do our little cold open, shall we? Run it, brother. <laughs> It's time for Happy Hour, 60 Minutes of Toast, Talk, and Trivia. Thank you, Bill Lobley. Before we meet our players, I've got to tell everyone about a special hour we have for you when we do these happy hours because this is on Fox Nation, but it's also on all the socials. It's on YouTube. It's on Twitter. It's on Facebook. So a lot of you social media people, you're wondering all about Fox Nation. Hey, I'd love to get a load of Fox Nation, but I'm a little bit nervous. Well, we have a special promo code for you. It's called Happy Hour. One word, Happy Hour. You go onto Fox Nation, enter the promo code Happy Hour. You're going to get a free 30-day trial of Fox Nation so you can watch all of those shows in the promo and be done with it. But you won't be done with it. You're going to want more after that, and we're confident we're going to bring you into the Fox Nation family. So get that free month and watch all that stuff. Uh, I've been binging on Fox Nation shows lately, and they're a whole lot of fun. Well, let's meet today's celebrity contestants and see what they're drinking, shall we? She's the anchor of Fox News at night with Shannon Bream. Oh, I gave it away. We know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm new... drinking a, a cucumber health elixir, uh, which ingredients I'm not at liberty to divulge. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It might have a little special something in there. Or vodka. It might, yeah. it might not. I don't know. Shannon's okay, the author of a yet. new book. She's got a new special, too, uh, Women of the Bible Speak. And uh, it's her first time here on Happy Hour. The special Women of the Bible Speak on Fox Nation. You're going to get that if, uh, if you go on there and sign and get your 30 free days of Fox Nation. Uh, but this is Shannon's first time on the show. Be so, gentle with me. I will. That's it's the all... most beautiful book cover I've ever seen in my it's life. So it really is. I mean, I it's so you. That. Every time every time I watch you, I'm like, Shannon is just, there's not a hair out of place. She's perfect. <laughs> I love it. Me. It's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. I'm usually pretty. No, close, you look. You look um, you perfect have many too. Hairs out of place. <laughs> <laughs> but they're fluffed and styled perfectly. I like it. Well, look who's sitting by the fire. Returning champ and Emmy award-winning journalist. She's a Fox News correspondent. She can take a nothing day and suddenly make it seem worthwhile before she throws her beret in the air. Julie Banderas is in the house. Hey. I just have a small little cup of, you know. That's, oh yeah, oh my God. Child you know, size. Julie. I to come to a party with a bottle in my hand. No, that was probably like the end of a bottle and you had to finish it because it oh, would go yeah. bad by tomorrow. You're I know, right. I know exactly, I know, no. Size of a glass of wine for me. So. 
So because if it's not, it can't be open for more than two days. So good yeah, job. Exactly. You know what it reminds me of, Julie, is the did you see the um when they did on Amy Schumer did the the Friday night lights <laughs> <laughs> parody and her wine glass kept getting bigger and bigger and <laughs> finally she was holding this enormous goblet of wine. Yeah. Uh, you know, poking fun of the well, uh, you know, drinking size habits. Size Tom, so. Yeah. It looks great. And the thing is, you got to do that. You want to aerate the wine. You got to air it out. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, you don't want to be pouring little amounts. You got to aerate that big, <laughs> wonderful tumbler of wine. Okay. Last but not least, she's a happy hour Hall of Famer and she's a Fox Nation fan favorite. Mansion Global and Monsters Across America are two of her hit Fox Nation shows. Let's welcome Casey McDonald. Thank you, guys. Welcome. What are you drinking, Casey? So I'm in Arizona, so I wanted to get a little spicy with it. So I went with a jalapeno blood orange margarita. What the heck yes. is that? It's just blood oranges and tequila and a lot crap load of uh, jalapenos and really? some orange liqueur. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that sounds delish. Well, I'm so Why are we doing this in Arizona? Casey, no. uh, I am here for spring training. My fiance plays um, oh, for the Padres, so we are out in Arizona, and I am here to work on my tan and do Mansion Global voiceovers. Oh I love gosh. it. You're suffering for the arts. You're there to support them because only a good fiance would go to you know Arizona and drink the margaritas. It's Shannon, someone's got to do it. Right. Someone's mm -hmm. got to do it. I will die on this hill. It's fine. But you guys are more than welcome to come out. They're letting fans out, so come on. Listen, I would love it. I would love to see some <gasps> spring training games. I'm drinking myself a nice Pilsner a beer, but I'm adding a little St. Germain. This is my latest thing. You turn a beer into a cocktail, you just take the St. Germain liqueur, it's an elderflower liqueur, and you just pour it into the beer. St. Germain's amazing. Really I've never is. seen that. Like fancy. It makes anything <laughs> I like it. into a cocktail. So there we have it. Okay, it is time now. Oh, look, uh, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to plug my quiz show. First, I'm going to give you the instructions. I'm going to tell tell you guys that watch out for your earbuds if you have them in. But this is our this is how we start the show with a little bit of scavenger hunt. Okay, so when I say go, I need you all to get up. Oh boy! And get some bling. Get your loudest bling. I want to see some bling back here at the computers. Whoever may, brings oh, me some. She's wearing, Shannon has I have my earrings on. This is what I got. Oh, oh my God. Um, this was the most unfair scavenger hunt I've ever done. Well, Shannon, yeah, you hold on there. Right there. There you uh, go. I mean, Casey this, said you're engaged. There's got to be a ring, right? That's there's bling. a ring, but how about the unlit? Um, <laughs> oh, there. Lights up. What? Ooh. Hey, a light up, up a flamingo? A pelican? I why not? I think it's both. A so pelican. Shannon, your bling okay. is your uh, your earrings. That's gonna be it, right? Those there. Those are beautiful. They cost ten dollars. Do not be jealous. What's the thing with you know? I love my favorite thing is when you hosts talk to each other in between shows, and you're always teasing Laura Ingram about her earrings. Is she always losing earrings during the show? Laura Ingram's <laughs> earrings fall off all the time. <laughs> She wears a lot of unpierced earrings, so she wears a lot of the clip on oh. ones, and if they're not exactly right, if they're too heavy. They actually did a montage on her show uh, on the three-year anniversary, I think it was, of all the clips of her earring falling off while she's like <laughs> railing against the illegal immigration <laughs> or whatever it is, and the earring goes flying across the, the uh, studio. She floor. definitely doesn't break character, though. It's just... No, yeah. she just keeps going. Unfaced. Mm -hmm. So Julie, let's see what you have. Julie has good jewelry. We got to see what she's There's got. There's my bling. They're diamond. Very nice. Colors. That uh, yeah. is fantastic. I bet they cost more than my ten dollars earrings. <laughs> ten dollars earrings are great. These are ten dollars earrings. I have three kids, so I don't really usually pull these out. I don't know what <laughs> our judges nice. are going to do. I'm um, something tells me they're going to give you all a point because Shannon had the bling ready to go. Yeah. Casey has a light up flamingo. I've never seen anything like it. And then Julie mm -hmm. comes back with the wonderful earrings. <laughs> so I'm assuming you all got a point for that. But let's go. Let's go on to round one. <laughs> Legendary ladies of film, television, and music. Okay, so let's start with Shannon Bream. She's up oh. there as, oh, she put her name in as Bremer. I like that. That's what people call me. Yeah, I love The it. peeps who know me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, so this is most of our questions tonight because we are celebrating the ladies uh, will be 
female oriented, but maybe not. Maybe to throw you off, some of them won't be. I, I don't know. Okay. Shannon, who was the youngest actress ever to win an Academy Award? Are we talking about Jodie Foster in Taxi Driver, 1977? Tim O'Neill in Paper Moon, 1974? Or Linda Blair for The Exorcist? <laughs> I want in, to. <laughs> in 1974. Um, I think Tatum O'Neill. Tatum O'Neill, a wonderful performance with her father in Paper Moon. Is she right? Tatum O'Neill is right. That's you Thank get you. one. I'm not a complete stinker with zero points. That's cocktail shake on the board. Well, you're you're in the lead now. So no matter what happens for this one moment in time. Yeah. You'll always have this first I'll question. Have this one moment. All right, let's go to Julie. Oh God. Julie, what sweet but dim-witted sitcom character was born in Saint Olaf, Minnesota? This is a character. Are you freaking kidding! This is what. Well, this is how you start me off. Yes. <laughs> You're the champion. Yeah. She was. I'm going to give you some. You. I'm going to give you some good good details here. Dim-witted sitcom character born in Saint Olaf, Minnesota, to a monk named Brother Martin, and a 19-year-old girl named Ingrid Kirklevoner. Hmm. Wow. Not a traditional family there. So are we talking about Chrissy Snow from Three's Company, Rose Nyland of the Golden Girls, or Sister Bertrill, also known as the Flying Nun? What does it sound like? <laughs> Think of the, the, the hints. Minnesota. The TF looks like. I have no idea. Minnesota. I, you know what's so sad is I, I see I see Saint Olaf at first, and I got all excited because I thought this question was going to be about the movie Frozen. Uh, <laughs> you, you would know yeah. the answer. You would know it. Well, can you can you eliminate anything when I say a dim-witted sitcom character? Is there any up there that you would take off the board? Go through the answer again. Is it Chrissy Chrissy Snow from Three's Company, right. Rose Nyland from The Golden Girls, or Sister Bertrill? I'm going to go with. Chrissy? Chrissy Snow. Chrissy Snow from Three's Company. She was dim-witted. Mm, but it's wrong. It's Rose Nyland. Oh. <laughs> Rose from the That's Golden Girls. I would have no I I was going to say I no idea. I don't I know. know. He was not even alive when the Golden Girls were on. He does so, this to me every time, Shannon. Answer that question. Get him. I know. It's true. It's true. He's uh, mean. But... That was a tough question. I'm going to say, Julie, it was. That was one of the tougher that ones. That was hard. We usually start easy. He does. And I only know the, the first two. Well, yeah. we'll remember this, that this was a tougher one when yeah. we get well, the flying into nun, the game. I'll tell you, the Flying Nun was not was no dim-witted character. She was uh, sharp as a tack. I would but, be too mad at the Rose, but, yeah. So, let's go to Casey. Which of the following names appears on Oprah Winfrey's birth certificate? What's her real name, essentially? Oprah Gail Winfrey, Okra Gail Springsteen, or Sally Jesse Raphael? Oh, come on. Gail. You think, you think it's Okra Gail Springsteen? Is it right? No, 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 no. What? No. What? No. Wait, read them again. Wait, say, no, the first, you just confused them. What was the first one? Oh, Oprah Gail Winfrey. Yeah, that one. Okra Gail Springsteen or Sally Jessica. Okay, so her name is Oprah Gail Winfrey. What is the answer? Yeah, Oprah that one. Gail okay, you confused me. I was like, no, I didn't say Springsteen. Yeah. I didn't say you know what's funny? Yeah. I, when you said Gail, I thought it was the middle one. Okra Gail Springsteen. Oh no, sorry, I didn't. I cut that but out of my brain when you said Springsteen. I didn't realize that the Gail was there. Also. Uh, my producer, Rich, usually gives me a little star on my script to tell me which one is the answer. And I didn't know the answer. I did not know. Hmm. So that's why I was a little flying bit blind. weird yes. there. Yeah, I was flying blind. That's what I do on this show. Got okay. you, Shannon. <laughs> we are back to Shannon Bream. Julie's oh. upset. She thinks that you was too easy. Can as you go? Oh, no. Whatever. You can you can go produce. Help me now. Okay, <laughs> Shannon. On January 3rd, 1987, who became the first woman? to be indicted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Can you believe it was indicted. 1987? <laughs> indicted. I mean, <laughs> indicted. 
I'm the oh. lawyer. I don't think she was indicted. What did I say? Oh, I'm reading my scripture. Inducted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she was inducted into okay, the Hall Okay, 1987. Of All right, let's go. All I do is read the prompter. You guys know how this works. Okay. Ron Burgundy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, was it Karen Carpenter, Janis Joplin, or Aretha Franklin? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 87. Karen Carpenter, oh, that doesn't feel very rock and roll, but there are all kinds of people in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame who are mm. not rock and roll. Janis right. Joplin feels rock and roll, but Aretha Franklin's like the godmother, like the trailblazer. You just put her in. Yeah, you just put her in. I mean, I, I feel like only because we're talking rock and roll, I'm going to go with Janis Joplin. Janis Joplin, she was rock and roll personified, but it was oh! Aretha Franklin. Oh! Aretha Franklin, you had trusted, it, Shannon. I should have trusted my gut. You, you had it, but you the said- cucumber you know, juice is not helping. Well, first of all, more. what is going on? Enough. We need more or less cucumber juice. <laughs> more. Why did it take until 1987? To me, that's the most shocking thing. Yeah, yeah. Because I would think she'd already be in some other halls of fame. Yeah, yes. I know. You know blues and- Queen of, Queen of Soul, is that- is And it? all that, yeah. Yeah. But okay. All I right, think that, well- you belong there. Here we go. Julie, we're on to you, and I think you're going to like this question a little better than the first one. In 2010, who became the first woman to get a Best Director Oscar for her film The Hurt Locker? Are we talking about Catherine Bigelow, Amy Heckerling, or Nora Ephron? I interviewed this person. Great. Oh, wow. I think we booked it before she realized I was a Fox person. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. What does her so Shannon, what does her name rhyme with? Oh, good one. Hmm. Am I allowed to tell? I listen. I just missed my last question. You're not telling if it's a wait a minute, Julie. There is a lot of information. It's 2010. 2010. Yeah, I know. And the best director Oscar for the film, The Hurt Locker. I don't know if that. I mean, I don't know why I watched that movie. <laughs> what is the clue in The Hurt Locker? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who, he, I'm, this is going to be an absolute blatant guess. So just give me the names one more time. Catherine Bigelow, Amy Heckerling, Nora Ephron. Nora Ephron. Nora Ephron. Nora Ephron. Nora Ephron. Famous. Famous Nora Ephron. Some of the great script writing comedies of all time. <laughs> but who got the, the Oscar for The Hurt Locker? But Catherine Bigelow. Catherine Rats. Bigelow. Schmatherin Schmigelow. Quite amazing. Yeah, Shannon, next time, give me a roll. Okay, all right. The next I'll time I don't miss my question, it'll help everybody else. Catherine, again, the, the most amazing thing about these questions, I think this is a very, you know, 2010, first female to win an Oscar, 2010. I don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning, so. That's <laughs> well, Casey, do you remember this? In one of the most memorable three hanky endings in movie history, What's the very last thing that Jack says to Rose before he slides into the icy water and meets his maker in 1997's oh. Titanic? Can you tell me? Can you do it without? Can you give me the quote without giving me the? Because I think that this one, I'm just, I'm concerned I'm going to make Julie angry if I give you the the uh, the three. Is this the, does he say that you're going to die in your bed as an old woman? Is that what it is? I mean, t give me the, give me the, what you call it. But I know she goes, Jack. What is, That's what she says. She what did she say? What did she say? <laughs> Come get, no, you said, no, you said, no, you said, no, no, this, no, I know. I said, I said, does he say that you're going to, no, you're supposed to give me the options, but I said, no, gonna, I, my, the options. I don't want to give you the options. What did she say? No, you give me the options. I was eight. Wait, is it her or him? Last word. No, it's Jack. I, but I, I gave die. you the bonus and I said what Rose says to him before she picks up his hand and lets him drop. I see. After no, I'm saying, saying what Jack never says. Is it yeah. never going to give you up? <laughs> is it never going to let you down? No. Or is it never let go? Never let go. Wait, never oh let go is right. Boom. Yeah. But I, wrote, I don't. He wasn't Rick rolling her as they were saying no, no. goodbye. I no, mean, no, no. Well, he, she didn't. He didn't really get to say goodbye because she took a nap. She. <laughs> <laughs> she did take up that whole. What was she on? A, 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 storm a door. door yeah. An ice flow. It okay. did seem like she could have made a little room on there. Uh, <laughs> right. But she, she could have. 
Okay, grab your markers, everyone. It's time for our all-in, all-star question. This one comes to us from one of our favorite happy hour contestants. She's radiant and effervescent. She is the senior meteorologist for Fox News. Janice Dean, give us the question. It's time for today's happy hour all-star pop quiz question. Oh, hello, happy hour team. Welcome to my green screen, by the way. And did you know that Make Your Own Sunshine is a bestseller? It's my latest book, and it's also a Fox Nation special, which you can check out right after happy hour. Okay, so I am going to give you your next trivia question. Are you ready? The Oscar-nominated film, Clockwork Orange, Last Tango in Paris, as well as Best Picture winner, Midnight Cowboy, all have what in common? Hmm, ready? A, they are all X-rated films. B, directed by women. Or C, based on graphic novels. Good luck. See you soon. Wow, making great use of that green screen there. You know what the amazing thing about that was that my producer, Rich, uh, he filled in the green screen, but he also was putting things in the front. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it worked. Okay. I love her. I did too. She Let's is fantastic. Her. And I think kind of a difficult question. The To repeat, the Oscar-nominated films Clockwork Orange, Last Tango in Paris, and Midnight Cowboy, they have what in common? Were they all X-rated? Were they directed by women? Or were they based on graphic novels? Write your answers down. Write them down. What was the first one again? X-rated. Oh, X-rated. X rated. Oh, another pen. This one's not working. You don't have a pen? I, I was thinking oh. that it was going to say, like, they all involve time or something. Because they all, yeah. I don't know. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see. Last clockwork, midnight. Oh, you're right. They all have, there's something oh. about. <laughs> there's a time element to all of them. Julie has a prop master at home. I'm ready. Who <laughs> does? You guys are ready? Okay, hold them up high. Hold them up high. What do we got? Okay, Julie says C. They were based on graphic novels. C says Shannon. I can't even see what Casey said. C. You all say they were based on graphic novels. Wow. I don't know if we ever had a full-on round where everyone got them wrong. Oh, no. oh. All oh, no. rats. Rated. They Can you believe it? This is a family show, Tom. Oscar this is a family show. I know. I know. I know. The thing I is, I did not read my contract, writer. I don't do porn. So I, that's the thing is the last tango in Paris. Uh, some of you may remember that that was given an X rating, uh, but yes, Midnight Cowboy, which never would be given an X rating today, um, and uh, Clockwork Orange because of the ultra violence, they were given an X rating. Yeah, Good it's grief. true. We never went to that part of Blockbuster. It was a different room. No. That's right. I was in the Did you even have Blockbuster then. when you were a kid? No. Oh, yeah, me. They were done? Oh, they still had Blockbuster. No, no they were alive. Yeah, like it was like three movies for like $9.99 on Fridays. It was big time. It was time. amazing. Remember going there and shopping and, you know, I they had the. I would spend hours. Yeah. Hours. And they had the movie candy there, like snow yes. cones, which was yes. awesome. No, I really miss Blockbuster. Videos. I do too. Yeah. So, we, it's time for a little charades. Julie is up first. Before the show, our producers emailed you the name of a film, a TV show, or a song. A name that only you know. You're going to have 60 seconds to get us to say the title of that film or book or t TV show, whatever it happens to be. And you can't speak. As you know, that's the way you play charades. There's no speaking. I'm pulling up my stopwatch here oh, and no. resetting it. So, Julie, are you ready? No. You're not ready, but no, I will but not. You can, you can do any any combination of hand gestures and whatnot and uh, things like that to get us. And everyone can guess. Shannon, Casey, you're all in on this one. You I'll put 60 seconds on the clock. Because you won't have anything to guess. And you're off. Okay. Um, oh, you can't lip sync, huh? Can't okay. lip sync, but come, come here. Come here. Come, come to my heart. I it's pledge like allegiance to, to the flag. Pledge. Pledge. The flag. The flag. pledge of flag. Hand over heart. American flag. U.S. flag. Salute. Um, no, not salute. That's not a salute. Uh, is it a Julie? Salute. Let's tell us. Is it a movie? Movie, TV, movie. or film? Movie. Movie. Oh, movie. Shit, oh, what's oh, supposed oh, to say? Oh, it's supposed to go um, like that. Team America. Oh, oh shoot. 
This is only my second time. First time ever doing Flags shit. of Our Fathers. Okay. Oh, um, movie. Movie. I uh, pledge, pledge. Salute. Um, come, come and yeah! come, the heart. come away with me. Come, um, come and pledge allegiance. Come and flag. Come, come see flag. the flag. Come, come see the flag. Come to America. Coming to America. Yes! Oh! <laughs> with seven seconds to spare. Nicely done. Joel. On the clock. Look at coming that. to America too. Like there's like you, you want to do two? Oh, I did do two. I just did That's... come to America. Close enough. That is good. Yes, yeah, winner for sure. Two and to be honest, I didn't even know there was a two. So it's out this weekend. I'm super excited because I'm obsessed with the original. Oh, so I cannot okay. wait to watch it this week. Oh, Shannon, I, there's a good question for you because I I never saw Coming to America. It was I guess during my what? I don't know me neither. Period. I just I didn't go. I never saw. What are you human but beings talking about right now? Is it is it family friendly? Can I watch it with the family? <laughs> Um, there's, there's stuff that's going to be on PC that I don't know would get made today. Although any Murphy can get away with just about anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, on PC is fine in my house, there's believe it or not. Sexy no, I think it's fine there. I think it's probably pretty good. Some of the humor will probably go over the kiddos' heads, but there's some, there's a little suggestion yeah, stuff here and there. A little, a little romance. There's a band called Sexual Chocolate. Yeah, it can get a little romance. performs. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Maybe a little over their heads. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Well, we'll check it out. I know that because two is on. It's all over the uh, Netflix. They're really promoting it. Okay, but I need I need you to tell me that you all have seen it now, the original. No, I have. I'll watch it. It's my homework. Mom, it's so good. You still? I'll watch it? it. I did not. I did not see it. It's one of the greatest, it's most really quotable really movies of all time. I mean, Eddie Murphy is so great in everything, but this so is funny. Like, he and Arsenio are hilarious in this. Like it's that. very good. It's so good. okay. I'll watch it. Yeah. So we are on to round two here. This is leading ladies who who kick ass. We can't say it any other way. Oh. <laughs> leading ladies who kick ass. Okay, uh, I'm looking at the name of either the, I'm looking for the name of either the, the actress or the character here, okay? So- Who is this for? This, we're, we're gonna go out. through. It's gonna, we're gonna start with okay. Shannon. We're okay. gonna go okay. through. So like and, a Robin sort of thing? Yes, and it it will be just like the last round. I'll be asking you individually your question, but I'm going to show a picture, and then you're going to have to identify either the character or the actress. You can give me either one. Okay. And this is just so you know, it's up on the screen again. The promo code is Happy Hour for you folks watching us on the social medias. Get Fox Nation. Download the app to your Apple TV, your Roku, your phone. Happy Hours the code for thirty days free. All right, Bremer. Who is this? Who's the character? Who's the actress? Ooh, Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver. Do you know uh, the, the Do you know the film? I want to say Alien, one of the Alien movies. Yeah, it's Aliens. That's right. Okay. Boom. Yeah, yeah. All right, Julie. <laughs> who do we got here? Who is it? Oh crap! God, I'm the. You know how I'm bad at celebrity names. Um. I love Celebrity it. names. Who do you, what what else was she in? Do you know? I had to turn this movie off. I couldn't take it. My brain was about to explode out of my skull. Like violence wise or what? What? No, it was just moving too fast. Oh, very frenetic. Yeah. No, she I, made didn't, it. I didn't see the movie, but I'm trying to remember her name. And I can't. She played the it. serial killer, right? Do you remember? Ooh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see this movie, but I know the actress. I just did. She get an, uh, an oh, Oscar for the serial killer thing? Although I really think in Hollywood you get an Oscar for gaining forty pounds or whatever she did because like that's brave. And yeah, brave. yeah, that is. Uh, I did that in quarantine. Cellulite and everything. I was say, I'm like, where's my Oscar? Um, <laughs> just tell people you were doing it for a role. You know. <laughs> I know. But you can get paid. You it's coming. It's coming out in Dubai. You guys won't be able to see it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I oh, God, what is her name? I can't remember her name. I'm big awful. name. Big name. I, I know, I know who C she is. T initial C T. Clarence um, Thomas. It's not Clarence Thomas. <laughs> I mean, I'm He's looking at her face. Actress. I know who she you is. know her. You know her. I know her. I'm just. I'm really bad. It's a her. weird. It's a weird first name and a weird last name. That's not normal. It is. No Nobody has this name. It right. No one knows how to pronounce it right. Um. Yeah, I can't remember her name. I mean, I, I know her, but I can't. put it up there. Put it up. Louise the Theron. Charlize Furiosa. Theron. It's Furiosa in Mad Max. Yeah. I didn't know that part. 
Me either. Casey? Yes. Who's this? I never saw that movie. Oh, um, oh my gosh. Uh, Harley, whatever the hell, but it's Margot Robbie because um, she's so hot. Uh, uh, in, um, in Harley the, what? Harley Quinn. Quinn. Harley Quinn. Quinn. Boom, she yes. got the character and the celebrity name. Yeah. Harley I wouldn't Quinn. have gotten Birds of Prey. I forgot that one. Mm. Okay, we're back to the Bremer. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's her name? I'll take the actress or the character. She's very pretty. Oh, I she love her, but I would never be able to name her Johnny either. Literally kick. She's the kick. She does a certain amount of kicking in the movie. She's so good. Ooh, it's the Matrix. Ah, yeah. So who was it? Who was the... You had Neo. He was Neo. Right, she was I what? Neo was the guy. Oh, gosh. What is her name? They had very... Very historic names in this. They were all very... George Washington. <laughs> um, I honestly... Do you know the actress, know. Shannon? I, no, I'm trying to remember her name. I mean, mm. I think I recognize her, but I don't know. She's got three know. names, and there she is. She's Carrie Ann Moss as Trinity. Trinity. Trinity, okay. In The Matrix, yeah. All right, now I know. Here we go, back to Julie. <laughs> Who is this? Yes. <gasps> Yes. Son of a bitch. I don't watch Star Wars movies. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew Julie was going to be like, Star Wars. Um, it's time for a drink. She plays Ray, like as in. Is her name Cabernet? Her name is not Cabernet, but she is. She's, I don't know. She's Ray in the Star Wars franchise. It's Daisy Star Ridley. Wars. Daisy Ridley. You didn't let me steal that, bro. I know. Mm. I, know. I think the price stealing because I will totally steal. Go to one of you guys. No. Only at certain times do I do we allow. Ah, uh, damn it! I don't know her name, but it's Mulan. But it's I, Mulan, I mean, that'll do it. I yes. don't know. Right. No. It's the character. You can do it. You can do the character, Mulan. Let's get down to business. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Back to Shannon. <laughs> Who is this? What? I we can't see her. <laughs> what the heck? Come I mean, on. I can't even see her face. Oh, oh there what? we go. Um, Captain, and I should know. Um, did was oh. she playing the female Captain America? Well, it was Captain Marvel. You're right. But she played the. She got it. Version, she right? got it. She, she got, got it. it. No, she got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. That was it. That was it. That was okay, it. she got it. She I'll got take it. it. <laughs> I will take your mercy. Thank you. Thank you. Julie, this is a good one. This is in the Banderas wheelhouse. Who is this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I give her a hint that I think that I, I know? Yeah. And, oh, no, wait. No, I actually don't know. I thought it was I'm someone. Putting her on the wrong path. My kids just aren't into it. I, wait a minute. This was like this was like 10 years ago. Yeah, and we never watched the movie because for some reason something about her hair doesn't appeal to my children. So we didn't watch this one. Not, they, they're not into the gingers, huh? I guess. Those eyebrows. Those eyebrows are style. Do you? Okay, wait yeah. a minute. Do you know the movie? Do you know the movie? I can't remember. Okay. Do you know what her mom turns into an animal? Can you tell me what animal her mom turns into? I didn't into? watch the movie. I didn't oh. watch the movie, but like a tiger or something? I don't know. <laughs> her mom turns into a bear. A bear. <laughs> hey, they're both animals. <laughs> Casey, who is it? Casey. I don't know this cartoon. Uh, no, I, no I, I thought it was Tangled, but it's definitely not Tangled. It's is not it Tangled. Really brave? Brave is the movie. Yes. Yeah, but I don't know the character's name. Merida. I didn't watch that Ooh, What a cute name. Meredith and Brave, yeah, it's great, and she's got the the Celtic. Uh, I love how accent. you should do me a favor by giving me a cartoon animated. <laughs> well, you got kids, I right? I thought I thought it would be those. right there for you because you were mentioning. Uh, I know, for Olaf, you know. Okay, uh, we are on to Casey. Who is this? Oh, oh crap. you got to tell me her um, name and the movie. Oh, uh, is it? It's Pirates of the Caribbean. It's Kieran Knight. Not, uh, is that who it is? There. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kira Knightley. Kira yeah. Knightley. Pirates of the Caribbean. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, them both. Didn't the she have brown hair in that movie? No. I think she was blonde in the second uh, second movie. I didn't see all I of them. I feel like she's hungry. <laughs> oh, you know this, Shannon. There we go. Back to Shannon. Who is it? Uma I want you to tell me the name of the character. 
I'm no. not going to do that. I'm not. If the rules are the action of the character, it's Uma Thurman. I don't know what it is. Uma Thurman. Is. Can you tell me he the film? Killing Bill. Killing right? Bill. Close enough. Killing someone. Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Okay, yeah. It's an order, not killing. a gerund. But <laughs> it was killing. Kill Bill. And she was the bride. She played the bride. Okay. In uh, Kill Bill. Was okay. Was Tarantino the, the um, groom? No, he was not. A, He's he, the director. He's not a yeah. Okay. So, Julie, who do we got here? What's going on? I'm passing. No, I'm it's, it's, uh, I'm wait, who, yeah, who, which Chris one? Pratt. Which one? The, can, can you name the, the franchise, Julie? I'll give it to you if you name oh, the franchise. Studio. What? Oh, I no. Know. Yes, you do. I honestly didn't see this movie. No, you know the franchise. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm not sure about her eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a bunch it's, of misfits floating through space. And the director Star Trek? of this, what's that? I, I don't even, I have no idea. Star, Star Trek? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch movies. I, oh, wait, I wouldn't, have, is it, is it, event, is it like the Avenger? Or which one is it? Who is the Guardians, actress, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, the actress. Is that Zoe Saldana? Saldana? Yes. Oh, I love her. Avatar. Oh, yeah. Hottie McHottie. Yes. Okay. You can do what she wants with the eyebrow. You know. <laughs> Who is this? Le legitimately no clue. Wait a minute. Casey. I must say it's going back a couple of years, but not that Can I get years. another can I get another picture? No, finally <laughs> we have one that's out of your cultural wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. That I wasn't alive for it. She's got a, you an exotic alive, name. But she might have been a toddler. So I wasn't. My mom's watching this, Tom, and she's gonna she's gonna write on Facebook. Casey was not allowed to watch this show. Right. Well, you know what? Your mom is a she's a good woman. She's a good. Wait, woman. wait, what? Can I get another picture? Uh, that's the picture. I'll tell you this: it's a Bruce Willis movie. And she's got a tricky name. Yeah. I don't even know. Crooked bathing suit, redheaded woman. Yeah, it's <laughs> close. <laughs> It is. Put I, it up on I the look, screen, Rich. Put it up there. Mila Jovovich no, as Lilo right. in the fifth Milu. element. Yeah. No, yeah. did not. Wow. Wowza, wowza, wowza. Grab your markers, everyone. You can't believe it. It is time for another all-star questions. Okay. Uh, our good friend, Johnny Joey Jones, he's crashing ladies' night tonight because the feeling's <laughs> right. Oh, what a night. Uh, he has a new season of his amazing Fox Nation series called Fox Nation Outdoors. It's streaming now. You got to see it to believe it. And also, just to, to pitch, he's got the great show on Fox Nation. But there's also a, you know, a kind of the the Johnny Joey Jones origin story on Fox Nation, which is so moving and amazing. And I want everyone to watch it. So when you're downloading, uh, when you're watching that one, watch the Johnny Joey Jones. You can learn all about him and his terrible uh, injuries after his. Uh, you know, mm. heroic run as a bomb technician, but it's a fantastic special on Fox Nation. Take it away, Joey. Get ready. Here comes another amazing happy hour all-star pop quiz question. You're welcome. Here's the question I have for you. It's pretty unique. So what animals babies are called kits? The males are called Hobbs and the females are called Jills. Is it A, potbelly pigs, B, ferrets, or C, hedgehogs? That's your question. Good luck. Johnny Joey what? Jones. I feel what was the, guy, what was the first again? one? Well, I'm going to give you the question again, but I want to okay. tell you right now. If he, if Johnny Joey Jones, uh, you know, he always makes me feel like less of a man than him. And now he has to give me the question. He literally drinks alcohol out of glass skulls. Did you see the oh my. <laughs> those bottles on his bar? It was unbelievable. Right. Okay, what type of animals, babies, are called kits? That's K-I-T-S. Okay. The males are called hobs and the females are called jills. What animals are we, are we talking about? Pot-bellied pigs, ferrets, or hedgehogs? I have no idea, but... This was interesting because you guys got the... Last round, you all agreed, and you had the wrong answer. I wrote it down this time. I wrote all the options down this time because I keep forgetting the question. Okay. Yeah. I wrote the. Okay, wait. I'm Great. ready. 
Are we ready? It's a good way. It's a good way to keep notes. Put them up high. Let's see what you got. Are they pot belly bigs? Are they ferrets? Are they hedgehogs? We got hedgehogs. We got ferrets. We got B is ferrets. Ferrets is the answer. Ah! Is ferrets how you, is that how you spell ferrets? I got I bit by a ferret in the face. That's why I just wrote B. I didn't bother trying to spell it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's get to that. Shannon, you got bit by a ferret in the face? I did. When I was like fourth grade, I was trying to impress this boy who lived down the street from me, who, by the way, turned out to be a drug addict. So it's good we didn't end up together. Yep. But he had just gotten a ferret. And I was like, oh, I love ferrets. They're so cool. And I went over to play with it and it bit my face. And their jaws lock when they It's horrible. It's, I mean, yeah. I'll did never you forget that scene in Bright Lights Big City when he gets the ferret attached to him. It's what a nightmare. Exactly. I'm, I'm sure you never want to be near Very another ferret. hard to play it off and look cool. I'll just say that. So I couldn't vote for B, and that was. Dang it. That was the answer. It was That's an earring that will never fall off, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That ferret ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just fall off your face after they lock on, trust me. Oh, my God. Well. That's traumatizing. It's time to shake it off, Shannon. And you can shake it off in a big way with your oh, okay. your charades round. I'm steal a prop here from my couch. Okay, Ooh. there we go. You tell we me all can guess on this, this one. Works. And let me get the clock. We'll set it up again. Wait, you, you can, know. Shannon can, we can talk for this round, right? You can talk, you Shannon can can't. can't. Oh, 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 okay. So this is either a movie or something, a movie, TV show. Movie, book, or, or okay, TV Okay, it's a movie. Show. Okay. There we go. So let's start it up. She's a queen. Game of Thrones. No, that's not a movie. Uh, Sleeping Sleepy. Beauty. Sleeping Beauty, yeah. No. Uh, the, the. Uh, sleeping on time, sleeping time, sleeping, <laughs> sleepless in Seattle. You got it. Whoa! What? In Seattle. Sleep. What? what? How? <laughs> I was trying to what do sleepless. I figured we'd get to Seattle, but you got it. <laughs> I know. How do you do Seattle? The screaming. old, the old. No, I was hoping we get to sleepless. In, She's just gonna do rain. In, yeah. and then just we get Seattle. But the old. Listen, this little fake fur throw from Jason Chaffetz. Also on Fox, Fox Nation. <laughs> Merry Christmas to the Brames. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. A little okay. faux fur throw. Merry Christmas. We are, I can't believe it. We are already on round three. Let me plug it again, guys. If you would like a little bit of Fox Nation, use the code Happy Hour. Download the Fox Nation app. Use the code Happy Hour. You get 30 days free of Fox Nation. Okay, it's ladies' night, and this feels right. Round three. Round three. Okay. It is the fast and furious round. It's kind of like Password or the $10,000 pyramid. Okay, so before the show, you were given a list of things that have either spring or the great outdoors. All right? You have 60 seconds to get me to say many of those words. And as many see. as you can. It's all on oh, me. Wait, okay? We're not we're not guessing. So Chan and I are quiet. So Chan, you can guess my password words. And I can and talk. I, can, yep. I can give you clues. I just can't use the words that are on the taboo, where I have to give you clues, but I can't use the actual word. Can't use the actual wait, words. Wait. Like the ten thousand dollar pyramid, you know, things that uh, you know, I, well, it's more like it's more like password. You're trying to get me to say these objects without saying the word. Okay. For but some we reason we have Julie going first. Yeah. But Shannon and I don't Do play. No. no. We just are silent. No. Okay, we're silent. silent. Okay. We're okay. 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 All right. And let me uh, set this up for 60 seconds. Excuse me while I, because I have my camera here, but my visual of Julie is a little bit over to the side. So don't worry if I'm looking over there. I'm paying attention to you, Julie, and ready, go. All right. So in Central Park, I would grab a blanket. It's red and white checkered, and I would sit it down. And I'd Picnic. Sit it down. Yeah. Uh, in April, my kids like to hunt for eggs, and they are expecting them Easter. to be by the... Oh my gosh, I sneeze all the time. I have post-nasal trip and it happens. Allergies. Um, oh, mixed rain and sun and you get what in the sky? Clouds. No, uh, wait. no it's colorful. Oh, it's a rainbow. Yeah. Um, so uh, blank uh, rain brings May flowers. Oh, April showers. Yeah. Um, I'm going to plant these so that I can grow something in the spring. You gotta plant seeds. Yes, um, I'm gonna get on two wheels and I'm gonna do this outside when it starts to warm up. I'm gonna bicycling. Go yeah, biking. Okay. Um, these are underground and they come out in the spring and they're kind of slimy. 
They oh, oh, worms. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put these on because I don't like to squint and I don't want to ruin my Botox. Sunglasses. <laughs> Time's up. Time is up. There we that go. was good. Julie, seconds. You are wow. Good at that. Woo. Oh, and I don't want to ruin my Botox. <laughs> <laughs> what a I'm gal. The only wow. reason I wear sunglasses. This is all the wrinkling That's I can do. That is amazing. Enter Tom 50 for 50% off your next appointment. That's <laughs> I right. I should, have, now. I should have a code for them. 1 800 wrinkle free. <laughs> the well, you know what is funny because I just I'm drinking beer tonight, but I just uh, I just joined a wine beer. club oh. because they I were just advertised. joined a wine club too. Was it the oh, one that advertises on on Fox News? Because I I watch Fox News on on an app on my Apple TV, and they have ads running. You know, I think you know in between the shows they have ads running on the app, and one of them was a wine club, so I joined it. That's what fantastic. Else? What else is there to do? I know exactly. Yeah. It's quarantine time. Oh, join yes. the club. <laughs> and you look very interesting when your entire wine rack or wine shelf is full. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I know what I'm doing here. Yes. <laughs> I've got 60 seconds on the clock, and it's time for Shannon oh, to, okay. play, uh, to play password, essentially. Okay. Here we go. And excuse me while I move the – I have to move your your image to my uh, my field of view, Shannon. Here we go. And go. America's pastime. Baseball. Baby frogs. Baby frogs are tadpoles. Right. Um, the green stuff outside, you go and you use this to take care of it. You push it well, A mower, a lawnmower. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Horses. Okay, but. Horseshoes. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> we want to take a nap. It's it's tropical. You lay in it. It's between trees. Uh, awesome. it's, a, it's, a, it's a hammock. Yes, a game you play when your kids are like, I'll close my eyes and I'll count five, four, three, two, one, uh, and I'll come find you. Hide and seek. Yes. Um, people put a little stand out. Kids sell this drink. Lemonade. Part. Okay. Um, this comes before Easter. It's a very somber day. It recognizes the crucifixion. It um, is Good Friday. Good Friday. Um, something when you want to put something off. Lawmakers do this all the time. They don't take responsibility. They do something down. Shelf it. They, they shelf they, the bill. They, they, um, they take an action. It's something you're sending something down. Um mm. Oops. Um, you, uh, the Rockets do high kicks you and kick so it down. You, the, you the time yeah. is up. Oh, it was kick the can kick. Oh, you kick the can. Sorry. Oh, oh what a great game. Yeah. Fun. I love it. <laughs> that was good though. I think you got a lot there, Shannon. I don't you think you did. You got a lot. Alive when that game was, um, popular, correct? Kick the can. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I'm thinking of people of like just procrastinating and kicking. But no, but but no, I'm just saying as far as the game is concerned, can we all agree we weren't alive? Yeah, because I don't know about that. Yeah, because right. it was an actual. I know about kickball. That's it. To be Wait, honest, no, I, I actually like played, I played kick it. the can. Shut up. I played that. Okay, I so swear retro, to God, then it came back in time for Casey. I <laughs> think the big awesome. juicy juice with a big juicy juice right. can. It was this big. But, so you're uh, what is it, time Casey? I feel like I played it as well. But I never knew what the rules were. We were just kicking a can around. I mean, was there anything to it? Well, it was it was almost like um, like capture the flag. Like you had to like protect the can. I thought oh. that's how I played it. Okay. Yeah, I no, you must have played was, legit kick the can. I thought that. Yeah, was you would play. Popular. Yeah. Many, so many, I feel like Casey many. is like like all the '80s stuff, the fashion now that I see like twenty year olds wearing it, and I'm like, no, I was there the first time. Yeah. that's not exactly how my we sister sold is eight years younger than me, Shannon, and they like wear the same thing and like the mom jeans, and I'm like, I was a '90s baby. Like you're not allowed right. to do. How that. did that come back? Like it was literally the 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 acid washed high waisted mom jeans were mm -hmm. a cultural joke, and now they are. Everywhere. Back. When they the mom jeans go ironic. out of style. Everything no, when the high waisted oh, goes out of style, I'm done. It's oh, over for me. It's I over. Crap if they're in style or not. Mom jeans, like any pant above the belly button is just no go for me. <laughs> that no, that's for me. I'll take yeah. them yeah. off your I hands. Like them, I like them holding stuff in. I just got a new <laughs> high waisted pair of Levi's <laughs> and I <laughs> No, I like it. No. I feel like it's like a hug that, all day. A muffin top, and I don't need that. <laughs> when low rise, when low rise comes back, in. me and Shannon are going no. to like an island somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we are. And I'm yeah. just gonna starve to death because that's the only way I'll fit in the low rise without the muffin top spilling over. I don't want that. No one needs to see that. Oh my god. Mm -mm. We have a. Uh, we've got another guest question. I think right now we have a all star. Lara Logan, she's the star of 
Larry Logan has no agenda. It is one of the best shows I've ever seen. Forget about on Fox Nation. It's so good. It's so worth it. And she's had a long career in journalism. I think this is the best thing she's ever done. Lara Logan has no agenda. She goes down to the border. She goes into Mexico. I mean, it's unbelievable. The show's fantastic. It's streaming now on Fox Nation. And uh, so we have a special guest question from Lara Logan. You're up, Lara. Get ready. Here comes an undeniably equally amazing happy hour all-star pop quiz question. Thank you, guys. I think I have a pretty good question here, especially if you're a Marvel Comics fan. Yes, that is, um, that's a really good clue. Okay, so here goes. Which of the following characters is Spider-Man's boss? Was it A, Perry White, B, J, Jonah Jameson, or C, Commissioner James Gordon. Okay, there you go. Good luck. Okay. I have to do my charades, too. Wait, you didn't do it. I skipped no, it. No, you your... said yet. I, it's, fine. Your it's fine. It's fine. Do... I'm ready. You I'm ready have to, answer. to do your, uh, your password. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, but it's okay. I'm ready to answer this. I'm so glad you brought that to my well, attention. See, of course because... you are, because this is Marvel <laughs> stuff I know nothing about. No, do I, I don't know that much about it. No, 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 I don't know that much. Star Trek and it's well, Spider-Man. These are all famous characters. So let's go to Lara's question to repeat. Which of the following is Spider-Man's boss? He's the boss of Spider-Man. Ready. You didn't know he had a boss, did you? Is it Perry White, J. Jonah Jameson, or Commissioner Gordon? Those are all people. They're You're all not characters. The boss of me, Spider Man. Yeah. Are we ready? I'm just uh, going to uh, look at what Casey does and scratch mine out real quick and put that. Oh, yeah. I have not done well with these questions. Because you know that Casey knows this one. Casey knows. I don't really agree with this we answer. We all have to but reveal at the same time. You don't agree with this answer? Not really. I mean, he's his nemesis and his boss. Does that make it better? Nemesis and boss. No, well, then that's wrong. Well, what? Wait a minute, Casey, have you switched from margarita to wine? He is his boss, Casey. <laughs> My fiance is also a bartender, and he knew that we were running low. Professional He's... baseball player. No, no, no. I like that. <laughs> He's yeah, a good I'm wine pour. Talented. It's it's a it's, it's not as good as Julie's pour, but it's decent. It's decent. It's not bad. Tell him to work on it's... it. <laughs> okay, are we ready for the reveal? Ready. Oh, yeah. He is we're for a time. For a time anyway. He's Spider-Man's boss. Who is it? What do we got here? We got C. We got uh, J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson. We've got... Uh, Commissioner James Jordan. Sorry, don't try to read my writing. Commissioner James Jordan? What Gordon. She meant Gordon. She meant Gordon. Gordon. It's the Gordon. C. C. I gave it's you Gordon. C. Right here. Casey, what are you talking about? Did you write C? Yeah. C. The answer is B. J. Jonah Jameson. What? <laughs> Who even is that guy? It was... No, 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 no. Because when they remade it for the 16th time, it was... It was Iron Man because he gave him all his crap, and then he took the suit away. Oh, yeah. And then James Gore, or Commissioner Gordon, would put this would put the thing. Oh wait, that was the bad Batman. signal. Damn the it! Ah, uh, damn it! Celebrity question. You know what though? I'm not my forte. Like I'm so impressed you knew that because I don't know what you're talking. About. Wait, who's the Jonah guy? Julie, tell it's tell her who Jonah is. Boss. You guessed? Oh, don't ask me. According to Julie. Iron Man. Wait, Iron Listen, Man was definitely his boss. Jay Jonah Jameson is, that Iron is Man the Jonah? editor of the newspaper. And like Spider-Man works for him as a photographer. And he says, get me pictures of Spider-Man. Okay, can, I, can, I can I say that I feel like you need to specify which Spider-Man? Because there were like 32 Spider-Man made. Listen, in recent, every single Spider-Man, Jay Jonah Jameson is the editor of the newspaper. Every single one. Then you should have said, you should have said, what's his real name? J. Jonah Jameson. No, no, the kid, the Spider-Man. Oh. Uh, Peter Parker. Yeah, Peter Parker. Oh, you he think I should have said Peter Parker's watch. You're right. You're right. Um, All right. That wouldn't have helped me either way. All right. Okay. Casey, Wait, I'm ready. now, oh, now that I have okay. you flustered, it is now yes. your chance okay. to play Password. I'm going to put 60 seconds move. on the clock. I'm moving. Hold on. I need a prop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, wait. She has find... props? Hold on. Right. Uh-oh. Okay. This okay. feels like Lara Logan has no agenda. She's going outside. She's, She's going through the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's okay. happening here. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Here we go. And one. go. What? Climbing. Cli what? What's she doing? Wait a second. Casey, you what can talk. 
What is this? Cactus. I mean, what is it? It's a plant. In the greater family. Uh, it, 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 What's this? It's foliage. It's it's plant life. It's it's uh, no. Oh my a tree. Gosh. What's a tree? Yes, climbing a tree. It's a tree. Okay. Okay. Well, climbing um, a tree. When you when you plant flowers, what is it called? You you're gardening. You're uh, yes you're a... yes. Uh, Mary Poppins. Let's go fly a kite. Fly a kite. Oh, I said fly a. Whoops. Um, so <laughs> when you, you when you when you the big fiery ball in the sky What's and up? you lay outside. But you're what do you do? Sun tanning. You're sunning yes, yourself. Yes, sunbathing. So what do you do when you throw out all your crap in the beginning, like right before daylight saving, and in a big dumpster? You get rid of all of it. You, you throw it uh, away. Help me out, Julie. What do you do? What like, is that? Like mopping, throwing stuff Spring away. Spring cleaning. Yes. Uh, when you catch a trout or a bass, what is that called? When Fishing. What do you do? When, uh, when, when you look for winged creatures in the woods. You're a bird watcher. Uh, when you go like this. Jump roping. Uh, what do you drink at the Kentucky Derby? Uh, mint juleps. When you take rocks and you throw them across the water. Skipping stones. What do you do at a barbecue? You, you don't cook. do it in the kitchen. You you you, you cook, you. but not inside. Uh, uh, a cookout. Yeah, cookout. Yes. Oh, I did it. Nice. You did the whole thing. I did all the thing. Very nice. And it that just impressive. you did it all in a minute. You got every one. Or I think you I'm got really it all. sad that you didn't get climbing a tree. I literally climbed a palm tree. It was I know, lovely. but I thought I was a little flustered because I said, wait a minute, Casey's doing charades. I know. She's doing <laughs> it. She's got props and everything. I'm a little out of breath now. Okay. Great job. Well, and an A for effort. <laughs> Thank you so much for recognizing. We are on to round four. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Quick promo co co code plug, foxnation.com, go there. Yeah, so, so for some of you people who think that, I don't know where the apps are, I don't know what an app store is, just go to foxnation.com, they'll take you through the process. The code is happy hour, one word, and you'll get a free 30 day trial. Even if you don't like apps, you can watch it right there on the web. You can sign up and be a member of Fox Nation for 30 days free and you can watch all the stuff. So foxnation.com, they'll take you through it. Okay, we saved the best for last. It's Binge worthy beauties, rapid fire round. Uh -oh. This is like QVC. What is this? How does this work? I'm going to give you the name of a female television superstar and the character that made them famous. All you have to do is tell me the name of their show. Oh, oh I'm going to be terrible at this. I'm terrible. I know. Okay. So I'm going to name. So I'm going to give you the female television superstar, and you tell me the show. The show. So if I said Major, if I said Major this... Nelson, what would you say? Major Nelson, what would you say? I dream of Jeannie. Yeah, well, that's right. Okay. But that was but a guy. All, These are going to be all women. Is this all scripted? Is it all scripted or some reality? It is, I think, from my memory of this, going over these questions before the show, it's all scripted shows. Okay, that, that helps. No, that helps. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. like, Elsie and, like... Yeah, yeah, and if I if it is Kristen reality, Cavallari. I don't think there's any reality in this. If there is, I will even give you a shout out beforehand. Okay. Okay, we're back to Shannon. Okay. Millie Bobby Brown as eleven. What's the show? Stranger Things. That's right. Stranger heck? Things. Okay, Julie. Did Leah Rimini as Carrie Heffernan. What's the show? That's a good show. Oh, I love that show. Yeah. She's really sarcastic and funny in it. Yeah. Where's he live? Where's the guy live? He's a blue collar guy from where? I'm so bad at this pop culture stuff. He has a regal. Uh... <laughs> I remember the show. I just can't think of the show, but she's yeah. really funny and she's wow. It she's takes place in New York. It's in one of the boroughs. Yeah. Uh, Queens. Well. What's the show? King of Queens. King of Queens, you're right. You got it. That's how we do it. Casey, Linda Carter is Diana Prince. Oh, this is a tough one for Casey. You're too young for this. I know. Wait, okay, I'm going to call you on this like I did on Spider-Man. Diana Prince is also Wonder Woman. Well, what's the show then? Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. Oh. That's right. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Oh, I never yeah. saw the show. I only saw the movie. Okay. That's hilarious. She was an awesome Wonder Casey Woman. Casey always thinks we're trying to trick her. She's like, she's also you Wonder Woman, by the way. always try to trick me. <laughs> Would you think I was talking about the West Wing? Of course, it's Wonder Woman. 
That was good. Shannon, we are Kaylee Cuoco as Penny. The Big Bang. Big Bang, the Bang. Big Bang Theory, that's right. Okay, here we go, Julie. Anya Taylor Joy as Beth Harmon. New the new show. Yeah, I have no idea. You don't watch it. You know why? Wait, wait, wait. It's banned in your house because she's got red hair. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Honestly, uh, wait, why do I know this one? Beth Harmon. It's very hot right now. It very is? hot show. What's wait, the lit? What's wait, the hottest wait, wait. show going? Is this a Netflix original or is this like on a broadcast network? It's not broadcast network. I, it's either Netflix or, or Amazon, but it's. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I still wouldn't know. <laughs> so I wait. Why don't I'm like this is hurting my head. Uh, Put it up there. The Queen. Oh. Gambit. oh. I'm always really behind on this stuff. I just I didn't finish that one, but I knew that I watched it. Queen's Gambit, My yeah. I loved it. Okay, Casey, Sharon Michelle Geller is Buffy. Buffy the Vampire Sire. I never watched it, but my friend Lauren White Tunis used to. That's right. Damn. Buffy the Vampire yeah. Slayer. Okay, Shannon, Gene Stapleton as Edith Bunker. Uh, it is. Um... Da, 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 da. This is a right. Da, 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 da. The Barney, the Archie Bunker show. It's not is the it Archie the Bunker show. What's the name of the show? <laughs> What's all the show, Shannon? All in the Family? All in the Family, yes. Oh, yeah. Why yeah, did I know all these? Because I'm old. I need to I watch more. No, no I need to watch more TV. I just need to watch more TV. I used to watch TV when I was a kid. Now I don't because I don't have time. Amazing so show. Questions, I will know. It's another yeah. show that would they would never be able to oh, do that no show today. Oh, no way would that show get made today. No way. No way. Okay, Julie, Claire Danes as Carrie Matheson. Showtime. It's on Showtime. Good one. Great. A thriller well, of sorts. Just, so I've only seen one show on Showtime, so that's, you know. This is a really, it's been on for years. Carrie Matheson, Claire Danes. Uh... You've seen the, you've Is seen the posters choice? on the, I on have, the buses. Yeah. I wish these were multiple choice. I'm I know you wish. I have no idea. It is Homeland. 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 Little terrorism. Little yep. Scandal. Yeah, I only saw a couple seasons. I mean, episodes of that years ago. Wasn't that awesome? That's that's HBO. Not, that's not like current. USA. Uh, Homeland, I believe, USA? is Showtime. Oh, Showtime. It's Showtime. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we are on to Casey B.B. Newworth as Lilith. This is funny. Shannon knows that this That was one. a great show. No, I literally none. No idea. It probably also would not get made today. I know. <laughs> no, B.B. No Newworth idea. as Lilith on Cheers and also on Frasier. She was on both of them. Wow. She was Frasier Crane's. Wife. Was she ex-wife? She was ex-wife, right? She's ex-wife. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I've been to the Cheers bar in Boston, but yeah. like you fun. should know Lilith. If you went to the Cheers bar, there's probably I a don't, booth. Called I never Lilith. watched it. I never yeah. watched it. I just had to do like a hit from it or something, you know. Yeah, that's before her time. <laughs> okay, Shannon. Phoebe. Oh <gasps> you, you know this. Well, no, Bridgerton is the name of the show. Bridgerton is right. Bridgerton is right. I, I oh, have to confess, I did binge that? watch. I binge watched the whole thing, but listen, I had to fast forward so much. There's so much naked parts. Oh, there, there is. Shannon. There's Shannon. So I, so I watched Game friendly. of Thrones. I watched Game of Thrones when I was traveling a lot on the plane, and I'd have to be like, <laughs> right, hiding it from people. This was like, like this was like just as bad as Game of Thrones. Bridgerton was, was definite naked, but it was so good. Not fast friendly. forward. But please watch it if you haven't seen it. It really was I good. I just started watching Bridgerton like three nights ago. I'm it's out still fun. So 10 of these. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Season, right? It's good. It's on its first season, right? Okay. There's so little yeah. you can watch now with the, with the family. We, no, no. Not not with the family. <laughs> we have been watching All Creatures Great and Small on Masterpiece. It's great for the family. And there's animals and there's, uh, there's Scottish countryside. It's fantastic. Oh my god! I hope the next question is about um, Outlander, since we're talking about Scottish countryside. We are. Uh, we had Bridgerton, and who did we have? We're, we're on to Julie. Oh right? my god! Shit's Creek. I love this show. Well, that was Julie. Oh, I know. Know. It's, it's Creek. No, that was my question. Oh, because Julie, Julie didn't know Bridgerton. Oh, yeah, no, 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 oh, I got Bridgerton, and then it, this was for Julie. 
That's no, right. I thought Julie's was Bridgerton. No, no you stole mine it. Was Bridgerton. Mine was Bridgerton. Mine was Bridgerton. Oh, shoot. Okay. It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Julie knew it anyway. It's Creek. And Shit's Creek. I'm yeah. sorry. That's I right. I haven't oh, right. watched yet, but I want to start. Oh my God, you have to watch it. I've heard. Very I, funny. I, that's so my good. After I'm done binge watching Bridgerton, I'm gonna go to Shit's Creek. Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy are just amazing. <laughs> She's so funny. She yeah. was but so can funny. Can I also say you must watch Ted Lasso? Really? Yes. Must. Yes, yes, yes. I want to see that. My my brain exploded. It is so really? good. Okay, sorry, Tom. Sorry, Tom. Go ahead. Fantastic. I got the DVDs because I'm still, you know, I got my Screen Actors Guild. They send me the, they, they, they mail me the DVDs because they want me to, they want me to vote for them for the Screen Actors Guild. Ah, great. So okay, wait, I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous for mine now. Casey, here we go. Elizabeth no idea. Montgomery. I have literally no, I, no I don't idea. Know. She's gonna know. Why are you giving her all the ones that are for like wait a me? I know it's so funny, isn't it? But it is old. Samantha Stevens. Samantha Stevens. Uh, wait, is she, is she Sex in the City? No, that's a different. Samantha. I don't know. I don't know Samantha's last name, so I don't know. Yeah, no, it's Samantha Stevens, and the show is put it up there. Bewitch. Oh, I love that show. But yeah. I, didn't she go like this? I forgot. Yeah. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Casey, you know the you know her magic gesture, but you didn't. Know I just Bewitch. know the yeah the this, but that's it. The uh, uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a Darren is. myself. You know, if I, I know. if I were married to a witch, no magic in the house. That would be my rule, just what? like Darren. I would be like magic for cleaning up, for laundry, <laughs> for everything. Like magic for changing diapers, magic mm -hmm. for all of it. Yep. <laughs> yes. Okay. We are back to the Bremer. Julia Garner <laughs> as Ruth Langmore and Laura Linney as Wendy Bird, by the way. That's a giveaway. <laughs> Julia Garner, you. I can't even picture who that is. And, and Laura Linney as some bird person? Yeah, Laura Linney. And I don't know. This is kind of a tough one, but I gave you both characters. But um, the... What did you say about Laura Linney? I do Laura know. Linney plays Wendy Bird. It's the show that it's the, the show that Laura Linney is currently on. So that's why you should know it. Hmm, I should. Um, she's currently on this. I don't know. Is that... It, no, it can't be that one. That's kind of old that she did that. Um, master's sex thing, whatever. I bet you Casey knows this one. I don't know. I have no idea what this really? is. Really? Julie, you know this one? Uh, no. What is it on? How about you give Shannon that? It is, I, th I think it's oh, Netflix. Oh, wait, I do know. I think Ozark? it's Netflix. Is it what? Laura Linney? Laura Linney. Is it Ozark? Ozark, put it up there. Oh, I couldn't watch that show. I'm not I'm not watching it. It's all, it's too blue. I know, it is literally. The whole show is blue. It's very bleak it. as well. I, very am, bleak. I was committed to it because I love Jason Bateman. I have a crush I do too. Yeah. He's great. The guy just but Arrested it. Development is the best show of all time. I'm not going to argue about that. Game of Thrones is the best show until season seven, Shannon. Okay. It did Ever. go a little bit off. Have you watched it? I can't take the violence and the, you know. The nudity. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give oh. for the for our judges give Julie the point for a steal. Oh, great. Okay, but can we steal other people's then? Well, I guess you, only yeah. when I say because I okay, feel like Julie right. might be a little behind, so I wanted to throw her a bone there. All right, I'm like one right. Okay, so <laughs> we are on to Casey now. Lauren Graham mm. as who? Read the read the boards. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. That's there right. Go. I didn't watch this, but. But you know, it was a bit of a giveaway with the Gilmore. It's so anyway, thank you. we are. They usually text me the scores. What do you guys think? Uh, Julie seems to think she's way behind. I don't know though. Shannon is definitely I winning. A hundred no, no, no. p. I think Casey is winning, uh, and I'm no. in like last place. She's winning. Casey's number two, and then I, there, there is no. No, place. I've missed no every place. single one of the Fox Nation celebrity questions. Every single one. And Casey, you killed it. I on, got the um, one about the oh, animal that works. attacked your face. That's the only one that I got. I didn't get that one. Yeah. Yes, you did. You got and that one. I no, think Julie did great in the. Uh, oh, Julie, oh, Julie went Julie rapid did, sorry, fire sorry. through the password round. Yeah, you guys. I'm no, getting. That was me. I'm good at. No, that was Casey. That's because it's a game taboo. Never played the game. Taboo. I love taboo. Yeah. I love taboo. Great it's game. One of my favorite games. While the judges are tabulating, I believe they sent me <laughs> oh. scores. 
Let's see if uh, I can get my producer, Rich, to put up my promo for tomorrow morning. I'm going to be on Fox and Friends at 8.45 a.m., which is early for me, but it's not early for the Fox and Friends people. It's the last segment on Fox and Friends, (laughs) and we are promoting the Fox Bet Super 6 quiz show. It's a new app. Speaking of apps that you can download, you download the Fox Bet Super 6 app, and then you can play for free. It's a totally free app, but you can win... $5,000 5000 or even $10,000. It's up to 10000 now. And uh, by just answering six questions, six simple questions, and if you get them all right, you can win uh, a share of or the entire 10000 depending on how many people. If you're the only one, you win 10000 If there's five of you, you all win 2000 It's amazing. Hmm. So watch, watch me on Fox & Friends tomorrow morning. Download the app, Fox Bet Super 6. Okay, so... Who thinks that Shannon won? Shannon does not think she won. Who thinks Casey won? Shannon thinks Casey won. And who thinks Julie won? No. <laughs> I'll take third and last. Third and last. Come on, let's Shannon go. Shannon has 19. Shannon with 19, a very impressive number. Woo! Julie, Julie, 17. That's pretty close. <laughs> Yes, it is. Pretty close. 17? Shut up. No, I didn't. You got 17? You did? You killed it on Password. You really killed it on Password. And Casey brings it in with 22. 22. This is the first time I ever won. I've been on this show like 85 times. It really is. It's the best. That's It pays off. I'm now ready, you, Shannon. You, you played the game. No, let me go. Let me go here. There. I'm putting it on. If only I really <laughs> here, I She's crowning her. her. Here's your sash. Shannon, you were in the real pageants. I was in like Miss uh, International, but once upon a time, pageant girls unite. Last century, I was your girl in pageants. <laughs> well, literally, was last century. So pageants are pageants get a bad rap. You meet a I lot do. of nice women in pageants, oh. and you gain a lot of confidence. And it put me through law school. Hello, paid for. Wow. It. wow. But tonight, Casey, you are our queen. You are, oh Casey. Goodness, and I, I'm telling you, Casey was the biggest complainer in the past. She said, this game is not fair. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm too young. What are you asking me questions about the 60s for? Uh, all this stuff. But her, she always was willing to play. Even though she was yes. really, she was always whining. She was always willing to come and show up. And this oh, time. So you, so you fixed it. So I showed up enough times and you well, finally gave it to me. You did great. It's fantastic. Your dreams can come true, too. Just yes. Look, stick with it. Just bother the crap out of the host. It's yes. all about the fun. It's all about hanging out and having drinks. And the reason that the Fox Nation people love this show is you kind of get to see inside people's homes. You get to see uh, what people are like after hours. So thank you for showing up and coming out, hanging out, <laughs> having a cocktail. We hope you'll do it again. And Julie, Julie one day you will win. I know you're going to win someday. No. To Julie. No, I'm not. No, thank you. (laughs) Thank you so much. We'll see you on Fox Nation. Put in the code happy hour. Get yourself 30 free days of Fox Nation. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers. Jewel, you got work to do, women. I know. (laughs) Real power. Meet next time. I'm going to eat dinner now. That's so fun. Thank you. It was a joy being with all of you. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.